The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board is shocked to know that Grab and Uber have more than 100,000 vehicles registered in their systems combined. The house hearing on the two ride-hailing companies' lack of registration and franchising is held Wednesday. Uber says it has more than 66,000 partners who have taken at least one trip in the past year. Out of that number, only 2,500 have either a provisional authority permit or a certificate of public convenience franchise, which allows them to ply the streets. Grab has more than 52,000 vehicles accredited, with only 3,000 to 4,000 having PA permits or CPC franchises. LTFRB Chairman Martin Delgra says until the hearing, the number of vehicles registered under Grab and Uber wasn't clear. Grab and Uber have been in a regulation deadlock with the LTFRB over unregistered drivers. Several lawmakers said it's no surprise traffic in Metro Manila has worsened because of the sheer number of ride-hailing vehicles on the road. But Grab and Uber say not all of the vehicles registered in their networks ply Metro Manila at the same time. They say some vehicles are registered with both companies and some drivers only drive their vehicles for a few hours a day at most. President Rodrigo Duterte on Tuesday tells lawmakers about new terror plots in Mindanao in an urgent meeting held in Malacanang. Senate Majority Leader Tito Soto says Duterte gave updates on the status in Mindanao after Congress extended the declaration of martial law in the area until December 31. He says three areas in Mindanao are under threat. Aside from Soto, other senators present in the three-hour meeting were Senate President Coco Pimentel, Minority Leader Franklin Relon, Senators Dick Gordon, Panfilo Lacson, Sonny Angara, and Gringo Honasan. House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez and Majority Leader Rodolfo Fariñas are also there. Drillon says Duterte's warning appeared to be serious. Drillon says, quote, He briefed us on intelligence information of new threats posed by the ISIS in the South, and he is looking for a closer regional cooperation with the neighboring countries, particularly Indonesia. Drillon adds the President, citing Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, requested additional deployment of 20,000 soldiers in Mindanao. He says, quote, He informed us of that renewed threat because the Secretary of National Defense has requested for additional manpower, and therefore, that would require budgetary allocation. Customs Commissioner Nicanor Faeldon says getting out of his job will be the happiest day of his life, but also vows that he will not resign from his post. Lawmakers earlier called for Faeldon to resign after a Shabu shipment from China worth 6.4 billion pesos was smuggled into the Philippines. Faeldon says, quote, They can kick me out anytime, but this is a mission for me, and as a soldier, I will not quit. Faeldon also lashes back at politicians, saying they help perpetuate corruption in the BOC with their unreasonable requests. The customs chief says he receives calls every day asking that certain people be promoted, requesting specific designations, and offering bribes for deductions and shipment fees. Feldon says, quote, My God, shame on you. Stop it. This is not your country. This is not your property. This is not mine. This is the Filipinos' Bureau of Customs. He refuses to name names, but hints that the one who is most angry at him in Congress has sent him the most requests. President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday signed into law the bills extending the validity of Philippine passports and driver's licenses. Under Republic Act 10928, regular passports for citizens who are at least 18 years old will be valid for 10 years. The passports issued for those under 18 years old will only be valid for 5 years. Before the law, passports were only valid for five years. The law also states the Foreign Affairs Department, as the passport issuing authority, can choose to limit passport validity to less than 10 years whenever in the national economic interest or political stability of the country, such restriction is necessary. Republic Act 10930 extends the validity of a driver's license from three years to five years. The extension does not apply to student permits. When renewed, the driver's license, whether professional or non-professional, will be given 10 years validity as long as the license holder did not commit any violation of the Land Transportation and Traffic Code and other traffic rules and regulations. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson on Tuesday warns United States-Russia ties could still get worse even after his planned meeting with Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov over the weekend. Tillerson plans to meet Lavrov in Manila on the sidelines of an ASEAN ministerial meeting. Washington and Moscow remain divided over Russia's intervention in Ukraine. 
U.S. sanctions against Kremlin allies, and Moscow's support for Bashar al-Assad's Syrian regime. But now, U.S. President Donald Trump is poised to sign into law a bill to further tighten sanctions against Moscow. Russian President Vladimir Putin, in response, ordered a U.S. diplomatic mission in Russia to cut hundreds of staff. Tillerson says the U.S. Congress' decision to pass the sanctions bill made attempts to thaw ties more difficult.